All eyes are on Xbox for the payoff of gathering studios, striking deals, and bolstering up games for the growing platform at launch of a brand new console generation. Promises have been made to fans and potential adopters of the console platform that have been waiting for big new exclusives to grace the Xbox ecosystem that has spent much of its past several years relying on third-party support. Going into the middle of 2021 brings the long-awaited E3 showcase, a celebration of exciting games and new experiences to come in the next year as the gaming industry picks up speed. As usual, a lot is riding on Xbox to make good on the promise that Xbox is the best place to play. And for E3 2021, we ask, can Xbox deliver on that promise? This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today we're going to talk about some leaks from insiders and sources that I've been talking to that have laid out quite a bit of what E3 has coming for us in the event, which will last an hour and a half. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. And let's get into Xbox's E3 for 2021. Xbox's E3 2021 presser has been officially announced to take place on Sunday, June 13th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, online across YouTube, Twitch, and pre-recorded live streams of dozens of studios showcasing their biggest and brightest in the near future for Xbox and for Game Pass. Xbox and Bethesda's Game Showcase, a 90-minute show packed with everything you want to know about the epic gaming lineup coming out of this partnership, the incredible games coming to Xbox this holiday, upcoming releases on Xbox Game Pass, and more. Xbox has 23 studios working on new games for this current console generation and multiple partnerships with global publishing and big multi-platform game developers to create exclusives for Xbox in the coming years. Leaks and news for this event have been air and water tight, but let's take a look at what Xbox has ready to show us for E3 2021. First, let's talk about what is reported by insiders and sources close to Xbox Game Studios to not make an appearance at the Xbox presser this year. Ninja Theory showcased Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga in December of 2019. It is rumored that the game is not ready to be shown yet, as it is likely targeted for a release in 2022 or early 2023. Avowed from Obsidian Entertainment is not making an appearance, nor is Fable three of Xbox's biggest franchises returning to the platform, which already may frustrate fans waiting to see proof of concept for these fresh titles from Xbox's in-house teams. But Xbox has struck deals with major publishers and has readied teams to deliver games that will be showcased at this event to fill out a one hour and 30 minute event. The show is reported to open with Halo Infinite, the long awaited biggest game from Xbox with a lot riding on its second impression. 343 will show a small feature of the campaign and upgraded visuals. Testers are saying that Halo Infinite looks improved, but not the mind-blowing top-tier visuals we come to expect from 343 and the largest tentpole franchise on the platform. A big emphasis for the show will be a huge, varied showcase of the multiplayer suite coming to Halo Infinite Online, a free-to-play model that will literally bring in millions and millions when the game launches in September of this year. There are rumors that Halo Infinite will show a brand new Battlefield inspired competitive and cooperative team based mode with an arsenal of big vehicles and power weapons across maps much larger than Halo has ever had in its long history. Not a battle royale, but more like an amalgamation of battle royale, Battlefield Conquest and full on Halo multiplayer madness. Expect a demo for online play to release just after the event closes. Flight Simulator is rumored for August on Xbox Series S and X consoles, a feat that has taken Asobo and Microsoft well over a year of dedicated time to optimize a beautiful 4K console experience on the new hardware. Flight Simulator has taken millions of players on PC already across the world and has garnered the respect of critics, Flight Simulator fans, and has broken new ground with hardware, software, and cloud compute technology. New to consoles and reimagined, Flight Simulator is finally coming to Xbox. Xbox has partnered with a lead studio for codename Project Typhoon. Little to nothing is known about who the studio is to the general public or even what the game will look like, 
but reports with sources close to Xbox are saying that the team is working on a AAA franchise of their own and is developing a brand new IP exclusive to Xbox with a strong emphasis on online co-op. Hints point to a third-person action-adventure game that focuses on cooperation with key roles for big teamwork that isn't entirely legal. The studio has excelled in multi-gadget and equipment-based adventure games. We will see Project Typhoon at E3 soon to be released, possibly in 2022. Scorn has been oozing creepy, unsettling atmosphere for the past year as it is being birthed for console to be exclusive to Xbox and only a next-gen title on the console. Scorn is a blood and bone, visceral Lovecraft first-person shooter with puzzles and slow traversal through nightmarish innards of an alien-like embodiment of horror and carefully timed action. Scorn is due in the coming year on Xbox. The Ascent will make a brief appearance in the E3 show and we've seen quite a bit of this isometric Diablo style cyberpunk co-op shooter and the studio has been taunting Xbox fans on social media. While showing off the bright and vibrant colorful effect laden combat, The Ascent is coming July 29th in 2021. The Gunk is a third person space and planet exploration game from the creative minds behind SteamWorld Dig and this time they take a new character into a planet covered with gunk that is dangerous but very valuable. And your space Dyson is on your back to collect the mass and make credits but also find challenging and interesting ways to get around and out of danger in this colorful brand new planet. The gunk is likely coming in 2022. Exo Mecha is readying for the holiday release, a free to play first person shooter with reflective ray trace mechs and exosuits in freeform combat that uses an arsenal of firearms, tanks, vehicles and mountable mechanical beasts on the battlefield. Exo Mecha is coming to Xbox and PC only for August 2021. Expect the lobbies to fill fast and deaths in game to be quick and brutal. Psychonauts 2 is a unique game in many ways. One unique quirk about it is that it is a multi-platform game from an Xbox studio that has publishing rights prior to the deal with Xbox Game Studios in 2019. This strange and iconic platformer is due to come out in September of this year, according to sources close to the project. Stalker 2 is a big game, a visually stunning masterclass on PC and soon to showcase on the Xbox Series consoles. Stalker 2 was leaked to launch exclusively to Xbox and PC for a short three month window, but fans are waiting to see the shooter action exploration game where your choices echo throughout the entire campaign. Stalker 2 was promised to release in 2021, earlier this year, but either the silence has been reserved for E3 or they are still working on releasing for this holiday. We'll know for sure at the show. Crossfire X is one of the many hard-hitting AAA blockbuster first-person shooter campaigns coming for holiday 2021. Remedy, the team behind Control and Alan Wake, is finalizing a massive two-faction story-based campaign that recalls the feel of Splinter Cell mixed with the frontline assault of a Battlefield or Call of Duty campaign. Crossfire X is also being co-developed by Smilegate, the South Korean team for the free-to-play multiplayer modes being played already by hundreds of millions around the world. Crossfire X is coming to Xbox in holiday 2021. Warhammer Darktide is the 40,000 lore-drenched four-player online co-op gun-based Left 4 Dead-esque killing simulation of hordes and beasts and other worldly creatures. The game features four distinct classes, all with specialized weapons, powers and ultimates, mixing melee and heavy weapons to cut your way through waves of enemies in objective-based missions across varied and detailed environments with secrets to unlock and endless customizable level-graded gear to outfit your character build with friends or random new friends to make online. Warhammer Darktide is coming in 2021 and E3 will be our chance to see more and that release date. Obsidian is working on a vow to be shown next year, but they are ready to announce Outer Worlds 2, the latest new franchise, a space exploration RPG that doesn't take itself too seriously. Outer Worlds 2 is a colorful combat and dialogue focused game with Mass Effect inspired squad mates tagging along and multiple planets to land on and explore. 
The first Outer Worlds was limited in its scope and funding with a smaller publisher, but now the sequel will be universally opened up and this new RPG will be teased for release in the coming years only on the Xbox platform. Rare isn't ready to show Everwild, but they are continuing to support Sea of Thieves, a game that launched slowly but has amassed a large group of millions of pirates on the seas. They are ready to announce and showcase a massive game-changing collaboration that will elevate the game and bring in even more players. We'll see what this is at E3. It's Forza Horizon's turn, with Motorsport pushing into 2022, and it's no secret at this point that Forza Horizon 5 is set across Mexico City's metropolis and varied gorgeous coastlines and vast landscapes of the country to races on and off-road. Playground Games has been slowly evolving the series and making improvements, and it will be exciting to see what the team has done to make the fifth game feel fresh compared to the last one. Forza Horizon 5 is supposed to release in August or September of 2021. Bethesda and ZeniMax will be filling out the games that Xbox Game Studios are readying for late 2022 and early 2023 to be shown next year. ZeniMax is reportedly working on a brand new online MMO style new game outside of Fallout and Elder Scrolls for the very near future. And we don't know what that will be, but rumors point to ZeniMax's online game to be teased or shown at E3. Arcane Studios. The team behind Prey and Dishonored is working on a brand new IP for Xbox, a stealth and action-based vampire game called Omen. Knowing the feel and immersion that Arcane brings to gaming, Omen could feel much like Dishonored with an emphasis on close weapons, quiet takedowns, and dark magicka attacks from the corners. Vampire-inspired games are few and far between, but everything Arcane has brought to gaming proves that their take on blood-curdling vampirism is something to look forward to. Arcane has been between projects for over four years, so Omen could be shown and ready for early next year. Machine Games is working on two franchises, one possibly to be showcased or both in this year's E3 event. Wolfenstein is the third in the new trilogy and is rumored strongly to be ready for next year, but sources are also saying a new Wolfenstein is not in the works. It would be a huge surprise for Machine Games to take this opportunity to show Indiana Jones, a third-person action-adventure game that has been in the works for a couple of years at least. Fans are expecting a Tomb Raider, an Uncharted-inspired game from the talent that has reimagined Wolfenstein over the past 10 years. It's likely, though, we may see both franchises at E3 2021. An unlikely partnership for Xbox is PlayStation and Konami's former golden talent Hideo Kojima working on an all-new exclusive to Xbox, a horror mature game, either a new IP or a Silent Hill-related AAA game set to be either teased or shown in the works over the past couple of years. Kojima may have moved on from Metal Gear and Death Stranding, but this new game opens the doors to bring his unique insight into games over to the Xbox brand. We'll see at E3. There are other marketed third-party games that are not exclusive to Xbox to be shown in the event that are rumored to come to Xbox Game Pass to augment the absence of Xbox's first-party games in 2021 and the first part of 2022. Expect a big takeaway message for Xbox to be, if you are a Game Pass subscriber, you'll have more brand new games to play than you can possibly keep up with in an already packed holiday 2021. The biggest showcase for those that already have their mind made up about Halo is Bethesda's showing of Starfield. Bethesda is taking a large stride, pushing their DNA into gaming above the fantasy and post-apocalyptic ground into the stratosphere with Starfield, a game that captures the immersion and feel of the best Western RPGs relating to Fallout and Elder Scrolls with the imagination and wonder that comes from an old world visiting a brand new space frontier that also embraces the SpaceX generation, forward-looking into the not-too-distant future. Expect to see first- and third-person combat and exploration, space battles with custom-built ships, frigates, and starfighters, and a full breadth of RPG elements, much like Fallout and Elder Scrolls as these designs are meant to push into the next iteration of those games. Many are hyped about what Starfield will become. Some are reluctant to show excitement for a game they've never seen, but looking at Bethesda's track record of immersive, memorable RPGs, 
Starfield looks like the next big thing, coming exclusively to Xbox in the next year as early as spring 2022. Expect Xbox to show some 40 games on screen in the event, with about a quarter of them being multi-platform games with marketing or integration into Xbox Game Pass. With the showing of big Bethesda games, promising partnership games coming to Xbox first, and a couple of AAA Xbox Game Studio titles in the coming months, the message from Xbox will be games, 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 with more than what they can show in a one and a half hour presentation. We are only six months into the new console generation, and with this first bundle of a dozen big games coming in 2021, Xbox is just getting started. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This was probably one of the longest videos I put out in a long time. I had a ton of games I wanted to show. There are a bunch of games that I hear we are going to see at the E3 showcase, and there are going to be even more surprises that we don't know about yet, and that gets me really excited. It's good to go into the E3 event with very little known and big surprises, and I think there are going to be way more surprises than the stuff I've talked about today, Everyone is wondering about Halo. Halo is going to be a big hanging thread for the show. People are hoping that that game will look next level. I am personally hearing the game looks a little bit more improved, but I think 343 is stuck with an art style that I don't necessarily agree with. But what I do know is if it's anything like the previous Halo games, it should feel and play great, and it's going to be a very popular game. But the best part is, Xbox has a ton of games. Just this year, they're exclusive to Xbox. Five or seven games that are pretty big at least. And then they have next year packed with more agreements and then even more big stuff from first party studios. So we have a lot to look forward to. If you ended up enjoying this video and seeing this stuff before we go into the show, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. And if you want to further support the channel, you can join the channel membership or you can join the Patreon. Both of those, or one or the other of those, will get you early access to videos before they go live. Also, you'll be entered into monthly draws for games and merch giveaways. I do those around the 21st of the month. And if you haven't yet, please check out the XNC, the Xbox Newscast podcast that is on Monday nights on this channel live. I have industry people. Soon I'll have some Xbox people on the show that work for the team, maybe people that work for the studios and some leadership and interview them about what's coming in the future for Xbox. If you don't check out the show live, it's also on demand on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and some other smaller platforms. But I want to know what you are most excited about or what you have so much anticipation you can't wait to see. Let me know down in the comment section. And while you're there, people may be arguing. There's going to be a few people that show up that don't care what Xbox puts out, but they have an opinion either way. So while you're there, remember, be nice.